the things we do is working as part of the EFRC here. On. It's the Energy Frontiers Research Center, which is uh, MIT has has one, MIT has several. One of MIT's Energy Frontier Research Centers, EFRC, is focused on exotonics. It's the, the Center for Exotonics. It's run by Mark Baldo um, out of the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science and focused on understanding the fundamental science of exotons, which is a, a form of excitation upon absorption of a photon in an organic material. The, the project we're working on there is trying to use block copolymer self-assembly to build artificial chlorosomes. The, the chlorosome is a structure in certain types of bacteria that is an assembly of chlorophyll dyes into sort of a light harvesting antenna that allows a bacteria to shuttle light to the uh, protein complex that finally, uh, s that finally takes that light energy and converts it into chemical bonds. And so what we'd like to be able to do is replicate those light harvesting antennas by using a similar self-assembly process in a synthetic material to be able to produce essentially the same ability to harvest the light and transport it over relatively long distances. Another area where we're very active in, in sustainability is trying to make advances in biocatalysis. And I think this is relevant to energy and sustainability in that the way we do our chemical conversions, how much energy this takes, and, and what sorts of products, chemicals, and fuels this lets us make is extremely relevant to the issue of sustainability. So we're working on ways to control the structure and self-assembly of proteins that will allow you to put proteins together to make a catalyst that looks a lot like a traditional heterogeneous catalyst used in the chemical processing industry, but instead of using transition metals, we want to use proteins in, in its construction, and in this way, enable the very, very effective enzymatic properties of protein to be leveraged in these chemical conversions in a heterogeneous uh, catalytic type of reactor. This is already a very active area in the pharmaceutical industry, for example, where they need to do a lot of enantioselective conversions. Um, I think people have been investigating this for applications such as biofuel synthesis, um, bio, the use in biofuel cells, um, a lot of potential applications also in biosensing. Um, so you could think of, of the medical biosensing, but you can also think of building various types of sensors for applications in industrial practice that could potentially be used out of these proteins. And then this also touches back on, on defense, as the sensors could be used potentially for the detection of harmful compounds in the environment that are, are relevant to national security. So I think it really spans a variety of different interests.